Hello, I'm Snapbad Jack, and today uh, I'm going to react to a video which is uh, everyday struggles that we can relate to. Um, by the way, if I'm blinking a lot, I think I said it in my last video. I my eyes. <laughs> It's good. it's because I'm staring at the screen pretty much every day, so that's why my eyes go a bit like all the time. But um, yeah, so this is I imagine a lot of things that we can relate to. Um, so I thought we'd just get into it. And the original video is in the link in the description if you want to go watch it by yourself without the beautiful face next to it. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at everyday struggles we can all relate to. So in life, some people have big problems. Some people don't have basic things like clean water or housing. But for those of us who do, we have to have first world problems. So here are some funny everyday struggles everyone can relate to. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10, we have hang nails. So how annoying is it when you've just cut your nails and then you see one of these? They're those little bits of skin that appear yeah, on the sides of your nails. Agree, now agree. ordinarily these- To be fair, I agree. Um, they're really annoying because I don't actually cut my nails, I bite them, which is a really bad habit. And then it brings up, and I've got white finger as well from um, playing too much guitar. I've got, I can't feel the tips of my fingers on this hand. And like now, it's like a bit of like bit of skin that pops up and you can't get rid of it unless you bite it off or clip it off. It's really annoying. Anyway, just a random I agree though, it's really annoying. These wouldn't be too bad, except hangnails can be very painful and very annoying. Just brushing against one of these things can be majorly bad. painful. You may try and peel it off, but then you'll end up peeling your whole hand off. Hangnails are seriously annoying and happen to us all. The main reason people get hangnails is from dry skin or biting their nails. So if you get tons of these hangnails, then either try moisturizing or stop biting on your own fingers for once. Next up is tearing paper. So this is one every student will definitely relate to. You know when you make a mistake or you want to save a piece of paper so you try and tear it out of a notebook? Yeah, if you've ever done this, you'll know how- I do, I do the same, because I obviously I play music, I write a lot of lyrics. Um, so, I write a lot of songs and then it's like, no, that's shit, and then tear up the paper. How hard- but it really is. Sure, it looks easy, but you always end up messing it up. Yeah. You think it's going to be yeah. a nice, neat rip, but it ends up ripping yeah. the entire paper in half. Definitely. If this is something important like test notes, then this can be trouble. But even if you're trying to throw the note away, it can really mess up your notebook having this what? terrible rip in it. Yeah, and you've got... Next up... You've got the bits of paper stuck in between the little things, and then you can't... You have to get them to the top and then pull them out. And it annoys me because I write down loads of lyrics that I like, and then I scrunch up the piece of paper, got the little bits stuck in the side, and it's like, oh shit, actually, a couple of those those words in that that like sentence was actually all right, and then I couldn't remember it because I've just thrown the paper away, and I don't know where it is. Anyway, sorry. Is chair wheels. So this one is for anyone working in an office. We all know that rotating chairs in offices can be pretty fun. They're much better than stationary chairs and you can get around while sitting down. But in offices we all know there's a bunch of cables all over the place. There's one for your computer, printer and fax machine if you're living in the 1990s. But there's nothing more annoying than when cables and chair wheels collide. Cables seem to love getting stuck in chair wheels and once they get stuck in these things they never come out. You end up having to pick up your chair and do some engineering. You may have wanted to just come into the office and do your 9 to 5, but instead you're stuck trying to fix this. They should really make the gap between the cover and the chair wheel smaller so that cables don't get stuck in them. But this is one of the most frustrating things that happens to us all. Next up is hand towels. So whether you go to school, work, or you're a homeless guy going to public bathrooms, we all have to go to bathrooms used by the people. Now, most of the time, these public bathrooms aren't too nice. But hey, they are bathrooms, and at least they get the job done. But one area where they don't is in the hand towels. How many times have you gone to dry your hands oh, on a towel and it's just shit. ripped off? It's the reason you, why is... It's you, you do, you're doing it, and you pull a bit out, and then it pulls out loads. Or you pull a bit, and it rips off that bit of paper, that bit of paper towel that bit oh it pisses me off and then you do it again and you rip more off by mistake and then it's got like half a ripped bit of why do it why do it like what why why stupid fucking 
paper towels. <laughs> Because public areas usually try and save money. Schools are always True. underfunded and businesses True. are trying to save some cash. So these public bathrooms usually have awful paper towels which simply dissolve in your hands. These things are super annoying and you end up having to use about 800 paper towels. Yes. Can you guys relate to this struggle? I mean, technically, if you're using that much anyway, you... <laughs> you've, you've just cost them even more because they've got to replace it again because you've just wasted all their paper. Next up is wet sleeves. So this is another bathroom first world problem we all know. How many times have you washed your hands and this has happened? The sleeve of your sweater gets all wet and feels terrible on your arms. It, if you haven't experienced it, this, you may think I'm crazy. It, I mean, it doesn't exist. It's, when, it, <laughs> it's when, you, when you get loads of water and you turn the tap on, loads of it comes down and it goes down your sleeve. That really pisses me off because then you've got to take off your jumper or your hoodie or whatever you're wearing and then I, no <laughs> I normally get a, a towel and just like do that until it's dry, but it never never works. It's a pain in the arse. It's, it's always something that you've just washed as well. It's always like a jumper or a hoodie or a shirt that you've literally just dried and just washed, and then it gets soaking wet again. It's, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> exactly look like it would be a big deal. Yeah. But we all know how this feels so uncomfortable and just plain wrong. This is something anyone who wears sweaters can relate to. If you want to avoid this, then simply never wash your hands. That's what yeah. I do. Yeah. Next up is fork in food. So one thing everyone loves is eating. There's nothing better than tucking into a great meal. But one terrible occurrence that can happen while you're eating is dropping your fork or spoon into your food. Once you oh, do yeah, this, there's no going hand. back. You have to get your hand Probably. all dirty with your food. Even if it's nice, clean food, you still don't want it all over your hands. Yeah. And, and, and when you act... I don't know if you've done this before. When I I've, I've accidentally... The food, like, the food's come off the fork and I've bit the fork instead. That fucking hurts. Like, oh, that really annoys me. But, yeah, that's annoying as well because you drop your fork in the plate. And it's like, shit, now it's all sticky. And then you've got nothing to wipe it with. And then you've got to go in the kitchen unless you're in the, and go in the bathroom and clean your hands. And, oh, it's annoying. And also, it means you have to get an entirely new fork or spoon. And if you're in a restaurant, this is just an embarrassing mess to get into. Yeah, one yeah. person even you came know, up with... If you're in your house, just clean the fork. You don't get a new one. Just clean the fork, wipe it off, and use it again. It's just... So it's washing up, then. <laughs> the life hack to stop this. They simply put an elastic band around their fork so this never happens. I have to say, this is pretty That's smart. Stupid. But people may look at you funny if you put an elastic band around all your cutlery every time you eat. Next up is water fountain. So we've already covered how people don't like bathrooms in schools. But the only thing worse than a school bathroom is the thing that makes you want to go to the bathroom. That is, the school's terrible water fountains. Why is it that every school water fountain has something wrong with it? But we all know the most common problem is the water simply doesn't go far enough. You literally have to put your lips around the crusty nozzle to get any water. This is a seriously nasty yeah, thing to I mean, have to do. To be honest, I don't, I've never actually, I think I've had, I've seen like two water fountains in my whole entire life. They're really rare over here in England, I think. Unless I just haven't been to where there is a water fountain. I don't know. I just I don't really come across them. When I did though, uh, yeah, I agree. They're very I don't I don't like them because it's a lot of people like like as he's saying, it's like you gotta get really close to it and obviously a lot of people lick it and get your mouth full like that. No, 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 it's like literally making out with a random person, it's not, nah, no thanks. And also, it doesn't make any sense as to why this occurs. Every other water fountain seems to be fine, but in schools, it's simply it's not the not case. Who knows, maybe some plumber out there is laughing at all of these kids failing to get their water. Next up is tape strips. So, now and then, yeah, everyone needs some tape. It's already a big ordeal to try yeah, and find the end of the tape. Yeah. But when you finally do, this point. problem often happens. You peel because I bite my nails, I can't do it. I can't pick up the... So, I... <laughs> so I've got, like, look, look, I've got... Well, oh, come on then. You were here the other day. Where are you now? Right. That tape, right? Because I've got no nails, because I bite them all the time. I can't, and because obviously I can't feel the tips of my fingers, it's even worse. So it's like, you can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't even, it's annoying. And then I try it with the other one. I only just about get my finger now under it. It pisses me off. You know what, you don't want to 
you don't want to have a video of just me doing tape for my sake. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that, that's the end of the video. I will actually subscribe to these people actually at some point. Top ten. They're really um, I do like their videos because uh, they're quite funny and they're quite interesting. Some of them are really uh, annoying, like the Kit Kat thing. Why does it matter? I'm gonna stop now because it's just gonna piss me off. Um, yeah, obviously I know it's all like first world problems. It's you know, it's people that are homeless and then people in Africa that are starving and, you know, it is literally first world problems. Oh no, my charger's broken. Oh no, I'm in Africa and I can't eat anything. Like, it's, I think that's a bit more important, but, you know, it's the difference between first world and third world countries, really. But, um, yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Follow me on my social media down below. I'll put the, uh channel as well as the video i've just watched in the description if you want to go watch it and subscribe to their channel which i will do i keep fucking forget titting to do you know screw it i might do it now actually right okay look that's the channel i'm going to subscribe to them now subscribe notifications bar also put notifications on okay also click on the oh it's so annoying on filter Okay, yeah, when you click on the notifications bell, make sure you click always, because otherwise you won't get all of my videos, it's stupid, why would you want half of my videos and half not, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I'm done, thank you very much for watching, peace. Back from the dead.